is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i'm go pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 mercedes-benz gls 450 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because there are actually several changes for the 2022 model year and essentially this is the s class of suvs at least according to mercedes Mercedes-Benz, this thing actually seats up to seven passengers as well, and it has that new home smell. Yes, I said that correctly, not the new car smell, but it literally smells like when I was building my home back three years ago or whatever, so it smells like wood essentially, so I'm a huge fan of that. But anyways, in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one, from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust, up, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, and as always, Let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the GLS 450 will start at $77,850. However, this particular GLS that we are in today runs right over $92,000 essentially. But powering the beast is going to be a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder with mild hybrid drive, putting out 362 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 369 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,600 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels through the Mercedes-Benz 4Matic all wheel drive system. That power is sent to the ground through a 9-speed automatic with paddle shifters, giving you a 0-60 to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.9 seconds. MPG numbers then are going to come in at 18 in the City 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel. And so, but before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our GLS, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. It is labeled Dynamic Select. That button is just to the left of the touchpad controller. That will include Eco, Comfort, Sport, Off-Road, and Individual, allowing you to adjust different driving characteristics, including shift points, throttle response, steering sensitivity, and the aromatic air suspension settings as well. So we'll get more into that, of course, in a little bit here. But having not got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test, and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 GLS 450 here up to speed. Three, two, one, go. No way. This is a pretty darn insanely fast SUV. Considering there's three rows in this thing, you're most certainly not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. That was plenty of power, and of course, no turbo lag at the beginning either, due in part because of that mild hybrid drive system that comes on this thing. So plenty of an acceleration without a doubt in the GLS 450. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, that's going to come in in an extremely impressive one. 113 feet and since there's nobody behind us that's excellent honestly it's excellent i mean it's not that firm of a braking feel because it is a three row suv after all but it's plenty fine it instantly brings this thing to a stop and considering again this is a larger suv 60 to zero and 113 feet is dang impressive i've tested other suvs out there that'll do it at 139 and typically with three row suvs you get upper 120s if not 130 feet so 113 for this size of a vehicle that's brilliant. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, adaptive damping suspension as well, and a self-leveling aromatic air suspension. So essentially, you have every possible suspension option that you would want, especially on this SUV. So typically, I always like to recommend the adaptive suspension because I can always tell a very clear difference with that. But then when you add an air suspension, suspension on top of that, it doesn't get any better than that. Those are the two options if you want the most pristine ride quality that you want to look for is the air suspension and the adaptive damping suspension because adaptive damping suspension monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you the best of both worlds. And of course, the air suspension smooths everything out. So the ride quality is absolutely amazing. And it is here in the GLS 450 ride quality. This is probably the smoothest SUV I have ever tested in my last 
650 test drives or so. So incredibly smooth ride and we are driving right now. You guys can tell the cabin noise is pretty much non-existent. It is an extremely serene cabin minus my loud self in here. And I did want to mention on top of that, there is an acoustic comfort package that goes for $1,100 and that actually gives you an acoustic laminated front windshield as well as acoustic side windows as well. As far as steering feel goes, it's kind of perfect. It definitely actually leans a little bit more on the heavier side of things, which is surprising because typically in three row SUVs, you don't get that. You get the loosey goosey feel with no emotion, which I don't like, but in this one, it feels great. Honestly, it really does. Then touching on visibility, I actually can see perfectly fine out the back. And I like that those third row headrests kind of tuck down into the seats when they're not in use, like I am currently looking at, because that really does impede visibility when they are up. So I like that they are able to be tucked down. So huge fan of that. Rain sensitive windshield wipers also do come standard and there is a head up display available for an additional $1,100 projecting your speed, speed limit and safety information up onto your windshield if you wanted to go that route. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mercedes Benz GLS 450 finished in polar white in case anybody was curious of our exact exterior color name here let's go ahead and start up front on this one of course you have that twin silver slat front grille coming standard there is an illuminated star available for $500 as well if you wanted to go that option I've seen that one before and I always liked how that looked we'll have some added chrome front trim on the bottom portion of that front bumper there as well LED headlights to the sides with LED daytime running lights do come standard along with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there automatic high beams also coming standard meaning if you have your high beams on at night and since it's a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically bump that back down to low beams then when the vehicle is gone it's going to automatically then put it back up to high beams so that's pretty convenient and there is an amg specific front fascia with the amg line packages we do have one of those packages here today so for example there's twin slats in the bottom two corners there as opposed to a singular one where you would get in the non-AMG line package. So I did want to mention that as well. I think it looks pretty darn good, but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the GLS. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, raised aluminum roof rails do come standard. I like that. Got the satin chrome trim window surrounds also coming standard as well. You'll find some additional chrome trim on the door handles themselves. Then you have that aluminum trim on the side steps there all the way to the bottom. Rear privacy glass is going to come standard across the board taking a look at the side mirrors they are body color power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals they will be power folding as well it doesn't always come standard on suvs but i guess since this is the gls of course it does do want to also mention another feature that we don't have today but it is available there are actually soft closed doors available for the gls 450 that goes for 550 dollars then if you wanted to go that route then take a look down at the wheel configuration there are some newly standard 20 inch eight spoke aluminum alloys that again brand new for 2022 now comes standard on this thing and of course there are actually 21 22 and 23 inch wheel designs available as well including these amg line specific wheels that we have here on our gls 450 today but pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back and so but now since we are around to the back of this one first thing i want to mention there is no shark fin or body colored antenna all the way to the top definitely am a fan of that a much cleaner look but anyways rear spoiler with an integrated Integrated brake light does come standard rear window wiper just below that there is some chrome trim tying together the two tail lights that also carries on to that rear bumper as well led tail lights by the way do come standard and to the sides integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip Now, since we are around to the back of the GLS, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard, so that's definitely nice. Once opened up, cargo capacity behind that third row comes in at 17.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there are some buttons found in the cargo area. You can fold that third row down, bumping that up to 42.7 cubic feet behind the second row then. And then with all rows folded, that is going to bump that up yet again to 84.7 cubic feet. But in 
that cargo area, of course, can find some cargo lighting. That's a given. There are tie down acres. There are side parcel nets. There's a grocery bag hook, a 12 volt power outlet. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're actually going to find a spare tire, which I was actually happy to see. I always prefer that as opposed to the fix a flat, but there's actually also a button in the cargo area though, to actually lower the rear suspension by nearly two inches because we do have the air suspension after all for easier loading and unloading. So thought that was a pretty luxurious feature there as well. But then make your way up to the rear leg room. This is kind of impressive, you guys. Third row leg room is going to come in at 34.6 inches. So very impressive. Impressive there. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that third row. Did want to also mention though for this third row passengers, there are a couple cup holders on each side back there, but there's also a couple phone charging ports on each side back there, which you don't always find in the third row. So I thought that was pretty cool too. And of course there is rear ventilation found on the ceiling or the roof of this thing for all three rows as well. But then making our way up to the second row leg room, that is going to come in at 41.9 inches. So again, for reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Did want to also mention though, traditionally, this is going to come with bench seating, meaning there's going to be three seats in that second row there, but captain's chairs are available for an additional $0. It is a free option. So if you wanted captain's chairs, that is available. And that's the option that we have today. So seating for six in our particular GLS 450. Did want to also mention though, heated second row seats are available. We do have that option as well. That goes for $580. Our power second row side window sunshades. Again, we have that as well. That goes for $580. I love that, especially if you got young kids or a newborn driving home from the hospital. That is definitely going to be where it's at. Five zone climate control is available for $400 if you wanted to go that route. Otherwise you get standard four zone climate control, which means both rear passengers there in the second row can still set their own temperature. So that's pretty crazy, but heated second row armrests are part of a $1,900 package option. And again, we do have that. That's just so crazy. But anyways, of course you have a couple phone charging ports for them. There's actually 115 volt power outlet back there then as well. But now making our way to the front seats, power adjustable front seats obviously come standard memory settings for up to three different drivers that can be found on the driver's side door. But there's also memory settings for up to three different passengers because they have their own memory settings on the passenger seat there as well, which is pretty cool. You don't always get that even on on luxury vehicles. MB Tech's upholstery is gonna be the standard finish for this seating. However, full leather is available for $1,620. Then Napa leather is available for $2,990 if you wanted that. Heated front seats do come standard. Ventilated front seats now are newly standard for the 2022 model year. For the 2021 model year, they didn't come standard. They were an added option, but now they come standard. So that's pretty cool. Multi-contoured front seats with the massage function. That is an option that goes for $1,100 if you want to go that route but ultimately seating was insanely comfortable with all the adjustments that are available for the seating you're definitely not going to have any issues finding your perfect driving position but then taking a look at the steering wheel this is where it really gets good power tilt and telescoping to start it is leather wrapped that comes standard however there is a wood and leather combination like we have today available for an additional six hundred dollars I love it. You don't see it that often, so I'm definitely a big fan. And heated steering wheel, another option that goes for $250 if you wanted to go that route. But to make our way to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your lock button all the way to the top, unlock button just below the Mercedes logo there. And there is that button to pop the rear tailgate if you wanted to use that as well. But ultimately, it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that black engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard and it is completely customizable. There are plenty of different looks and gauge configurations with different colors, different loadouts that you can display up there, which is one of the beauties of having a digital gauge cluster in general. So I have always been a fan of Mercedes Benz's gauges. You also, of course, get your basics outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty and a ton of other things there as well. So everything you could possibly want up there, digital speedometer, if you wanted that, so very nicely done when it comes to the gauges here. Then take a look at overall interior quality. A power sunroof is going to come standard. However, there is an optional panoramic glass roof that is available and we do have that option. So that's pretty cool. Home lane controls for up to three different garage doors can be found just below the frameless rear view mirror. So that is nice as well. Again, four zoom climate control coming standard. Five zoom climate control is available. There is a gray linden wood trim that comes standard. We do have a wood trim, but it is not gray and perhaps 
between that wood trim and the wood trim on the steering wheel. Maybe that is why this thing is smelling like a new home as opposed to a new car. So that is pretty cool. But anyway, 64 colors of ambient lighting also coming standard. Heated and cold front cup holders is available option. We do have that option. It goes for $180. So that's a super big feature there as well. I absolutely love that. Overall, interior quality is flawless. Every time I review a Mercedes-Benz, I say typically that it has the very best interior quality of any of the other manufacturers that I test out. And that is still true to this state. Mercedes really focuses on luxury and they do a very good job of it, whether it be the contrast stitching or the wood trim or the heated and cold cup holders. But nonetheless, let's now go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. It is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display to match the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, of course. But like I said, it is touchscreen. You can also use the touchpad controller located just behind the cup holders. And there is also that option to simply say, hey, Mercedes, and then it essentially will do whatever you want it to do. I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? You see what I'm talking about? Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system also coming standard. And my very favorite part, essentially, to all of the infotainment screens on Mercedes-Benz is if you swipe up from the very bottom there, there's a section called themes that gives you a bunch of different themes that completely alter the experience of Mercedes-Benz, whether it be adventure, trip, experience, efficiency, lounge, or standard. It not only adjusts the digital gauge cluster, like I was mentioning to you guys not too long ago, but it could do a bunch of other things too, like adjust the ambient lighting or adjust whether or not the moonroof is open or closed. It really does control a good bit of the interior of this cab in which I am a huge fan of. So one of those things that just never gets old. But anyways, of course you can find your radio information up on the infotainment screen as well. And so by the way, when it comes to the standard sound system here on the GLS 450, you will get a 13 speaker Burmester sound system, 590 watts, dual subwoofers, and a nine channel digital amplifier. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That was awesome. Quite honestly, the clarity was brilliant. The bass was plenty fine, not the most bass I've ever heard, but still, that was a brilliant sound system. And not only that, if you guys look at the speaker covers for this Burmester sound system here, they are very high end. They're made of aluminum. They're not plastic. They're the real thing. So that is definitely a very cool looking speaker cover as well. But anyways, Last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the GLS 450 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, but you also have a 360 degree monitor if you wanted to display that as well, giving you that bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag coming standard as well. Second row side impact airbags, that goes for $700 if you wanted to go that route, that is available, but it doesn't come standard. Typically manufacturers like Mercedes and BMW will have that as an option for you. But in the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard will be active brake assist, Mercedes-Benz emergency call, service, meaning if you were to get into an accident, the vehicle is going to automatically call you and ask you if you need an ambulance or the police or whatever the case is. So that is definitely a very nice safety feature in itself. Attention assist, crosswind assist, blind spot assist, parktronic with active parking assist. That's a crazy feature where the car literally parks itself for you, not just parallel parks, but finds a parking spot and then asks you if you want to pull in or back in. It's a crazy feature, but adaptive braking technology, auto dimming rear view mirror with the driver's side dimming mirror as well which is pretty cool you'd always get that but then there is a driver assistance plus package that goes for $1,950 and that gives you a bunch of added advanced safety as well including adaptive cruise control active steering assist evasive steering assist active brake assist with cross traffic function emergency stop assist blind spot assist lane keep assist lane change assist speed limit recognition and route based speed adaptation as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts this is without a doubt the smoothest ride quality for an SUV that I have ever tested and I've tested quite a bit at this point hundreds so great handling as well and again you get that with the suspension components that they put on this thing wonderful interior quality Mercedes-Benz really can't be beat when it comes to interior quality so I'm definitely a huge fan of that as well and perhaps my favorite part 
this thing smells like a brand new house. But let me know what you guys think of the GLS 450 in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media. If you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.